Kuwait Investment Company has been in existence for 50 eventful years. How has the company changed and evolved in that time? Well, uh, our probably as you know, KIC or Kuwait Investment Company was established the same year as independence of Kuwait, 1961. From 1991 until 2000, year 2000, a lot of issues happening at that time. Uh, probably one of the major issues that's because KIC is owned by the government, uh, decided to merge with other investment companies, second investment, investment company Kuwait called KTCIC, both owned by the government, they decide to do a merge between them and spent probably more than six years to do this merge. And that time after the uh, liberation of Kuwait from the invasion of Iraq, uh, KIC didn't do much of work most of the time for that time. It was really difficult and uncertainty for, for the company at that time. So we could uh, say that from 2000, it's the, the company, after the merge and everything, came back to, to the, the market. Of course, the liberation of Kuwait was a major landmark in the company's history. So what's been the company's approach to dealing with major shock events like that? Well, uh, we have really a highly qualified staff in, in KIC, uh, dedicated and loyal to the company. Uh, actually, they really made a lot of efforts to restructure a lot of issues to really stand against all these shocks. Also, as been the first investment company uh, in Kuwait and been investment arm for KIA for the government, we, we, we had really a good assets for a long, long time, some of assets more than 40 years. Now those assets really generating a lot of income. We had really good affiliates and, and subsidiaries like Kuwait Cleaning Company, like National Hotels in Bahrain, uh, International Fair Company, uh, KIC Brokerage, and other and others and others. So having survived that major crisis, along recently came the global financial crisis. Yeah. How did that change the economic landscape of the Middle East region? Well, it really affects the, the Middle East region. I actually, really changed the whole investment culture of, of, of uh, most of the uh, uh, people in the Middle East. They, I mean, you used to have a really higher retain, higher risk, uh, going for forward with, with, with a lot of guts. Uh, after they lost a lot of, of, of money and lost, make a lot of losses, now they change their, their, their thinking or investment culture. Um, in KIC, thank God, what we didn't really we've been affected, but not that much because we have really a, a, a strategy, uh, probably a long time, more than 10 years. We're not really speculators, we're not conservatives. We are more like rational investors. We, we follow the rational investments. We don't want just jump on, on things that we, we always consider our, our customers, our clients uh, on, on that. As chairman and CEO, you're the guy at the top taking responsibility. What's it like to lead a company through such difficult economic times? Well, um, to be honest, as I said, I wouldn't do it without my colleagues, without my staff. We work together as, as one team. Uh, we, we put all the problems and all the solutions and we go ahead on, on, on that. How do you see the state of Kuwait's economy developing in the years to come and KIC along with it? Well, Kuwait economy, it's, it's slower than we, th we it should be. I mean, all the factors giving us to be faster, but it seems like we're really slower than that than should be. That's why we're trying to, like our most of the companies, trying to move to the other region, those whose decisions are faster and and the investment support is much higher. So the future involves reaching out to the GCC countries and other territories? Yes, 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 I agree on that. What does that mean in practice for KIC? Well, it means instead of exporting 
to be exporting uh, uh, capital, we need to import the capital as, as, a, as a Kuwait uh, state. We need to have most of the most investors come to Kuwait to invest to to increase our our economy, increase our opportunities. Here in Kuwait, we have a lot a lot of opportunity, opportunities to, to to go ahead, but because a lot of regulations and things happening in Kuwait really uh, make us uh, going in the region, in the Gulf, and others uh, for uh, for those countries who are easier in regulation, easier in, in investment. But if we if we see the world now, most of the uh, Middle East, it's really a hot uh, issues, and you, you need to consider and you need to relax on on that. And you need to be uh, very sure before, because the uncertainties uh, for most of the Middle East countries now. So you have to weigh these tremendous uncertainties when you're dealing with investment in the Middle East. Exactly. We have to do that. We have to, uh, mo mo even those stable countries, you don't know what's going to happen with it. That doesn't mean we, we ignore all the opportunities because some some of our investments are long-term investments. So I think if we go ahead and, and look to this, uh, these countries to have a long-term investment, we might go for it. So even in a complex situation like we have in the region at the moment, there are still opportunities if you think of the long-term. Yes, if we, look, if we, look, uh, if we think uh, as a long-term investor, there are a lot, a lot of opportunities in all over the world, in, in the Middle East. But Al Subai, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this uh, opportunities, and uh, thank you. I'm looking forward for another time, Sean.